Hello, I'm Brian Butler. I'm the regional sales manager for Lang Tech Innovation. Um, we specialize in work holding. Our newest thing is our Howbeck system. It's a way, I call it, it's the beginner's guide to automation. It's a way to automate a three axis machine, five axis machine, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can automate utilizing empty slots in your tool carousel. And that's all that we use, is we use your machine, your three axis machine, and turn your three axis machine into a, a robot that will put the vise in your part in our system and then take it away and put it back up in your tool carousel. It's pretty simple. This right here is the actual vise itself that's actually holding on the piece of stock. So this stock is already pre-stamped. It's put in our specific Howbex vise, macro grip vise, and uh, then it our hood, which can be BT40, Cat40, um, HSK, uh, really it can accommodate any type of tool holder, but this is just the hood that grabs on and holds everything. So once you have your stock clamped in your vise, you can just take your hood, slide it over, I gotta line it up right, slide it over, rotate it, and then you'll be able to lock it in and it sits secure up inside your tool carousel. So you've got empty slots in your tool carousel. You can just set it up inside your tool carousel and then write your program. You can have as many as you want up there. It really doesn't matter, it's a tool. So everything is put down here on our Howbex zero point plate. This is our Howbex receiver. So the way this works, everything is mechanical. So it is all done by using your spindle or your table, however it is. Your hood will come down and depress this button here, which allows this to turn, and this will turn and lock. And what this does is it, you, it locks our zero point system down in. So this all stays stationary. The only thing moves is on the outside and it's 100% mechanical. So when you're ready to go, once your tool, once you're done, this one's already been taken off, put back in the carousel, then this tool change will happen. Then once this is in your spindle, it'll come down, slide down into the receiver, press it down, and then it will rotate. So your spindle will rotate slowly. All of our programs are available online. And then this will rotate, lock in, once it locks in, it's simultaneously releasing the hood from the vise. The vise is being locked down as this is being released from the vise. So this will get put up, put away in your tool carousel, and then your machine can start running again. There are three axis applications where a lot of people have uh, created a grid pattern on their tables in order to put multiple vices and only use one hood. So this hood can just be blank up in their tool carousel, and then once this is done, it'll come in, slide down over top, depress this, rotate. Ah. It'll grab the, this is all locked away in here. It'll grab this, set it off to the side, and then it will, I gotta press the buttons on the bottom in order to spin it. But then once it releases, then it'll come over and grab another one, pick that up off of the table, and then put that on this zero point plate, and then just keep moving without moving vices up into your carousel. So there's a multiple different, you can get creative, as creative as you want in order to make this system automate your facilities so the more cycle time you have if you have a part that has 20 minutes of cycle or 40 minutes of cycle time and you've got 20 extra slots up in your tool carousel this could be a solution for you a very simple easy solution